Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. Um, when I was shuffling out the cards for you, there were like a bunch of images that kept popping up, okay? And I was like struggling to uh, try to make sense of them and even try to remember them because there were like a lot of images, a lot of messages that came up. So the two most prominent images that came through, um, I'm going to relay them to you and hopefully... Um, they make sense to you and hopefully, you know, this uh, reading will be um, helpful as you navigate the energies of February. The two images aren't looking too great, so I'm a little bit... I hope that, you know, it serves as a, um, a helpful hint or a helpful message for you either way. So first of all, I see this man. He's out in the wilderness. It's like a grassy field. It looks like fall. It, it looks like, you know... Um, the weather is a little bit cooler. There aren't a lot of leaves on trees and he's in this um, he, He's in the woods. Um, there's like also a prairie nearby. So the prairie leading to the woods and He's setting up a trap So all I remember is um, this this man with a beard and a hunting cap And it's cold outside. He's got a rifle strapped to his shoulders and uh, he's wearing a black and red flannel shirt he's wearing like corduroids or even cargo beige brown cargo pants and he's setting up a bear trap and um you know bear traps for those that are not familiar you when you set it up you really have to use your strength to pry open the trap okay it's huge and it's like the worst thing you can do to an animal and so he lays a bear trap and he he, he grunts and he groans in order to get it, get it open and get it latched open and then he covers it up with like dry hay so that no one knows it's there and so when I saw this I was like oh no anybody can you know walk by and inadvertently trigger it and and have their the claws you know trap their legs or something so it's, it's just really horrific and the fact that he covered it up and then you know walks away from it um and then i, I i'm guessing that he would hiding be hiding nearby and looking at it at a distance so anyway he he sets up this bear trap and then the image cuts out and there's another image. I see this woman, she's in an office. There are big windows looking out towards other offices and like other buildings. And um, it starts out in the morning. And there in the back, there's a clock, okay? Like a, a an office clock, it's on the wall. And so I see this woman, she's typing away vigorously at her computer. She's wearing a bl white blouse. She has black rim glasses, uh, black pants on. And she's just typing away at her computer. And she's working at normal pace, but the clock in the background is uh, moving really, really fast, meaning that she has a lot of work to do. There aren't enough hours in the day. And then it starts out in the morning, and then the sun rises and rises, and pretty soon it's noon. And then it sets on the other side, and she's still in the office. She's still in the office. So when I saw these two images, um, I was thinking, you know, maybe it's going to be a very, very busy month for you. And um, I feel like the message for you guys is to, you know, work smart rather than work hard, okay? And this is not to say to renege on our responsibilities and to do a sloppy job and to cut corners and, and things like that. Uh, that's not the advice at all. And I feel like you guys are sensible enough to know um, to know these things. So I feel like the, the, the message, overriding message, is um, there will be a lot of things that are coming into the picture. And it is very important for you to kind of like anticipate where the pitfalls might be so that you don't walk into it it will lead you down a path that might not be pretty and it will waste a lot of your time and so i feel that you know these images appearing in conjunction to one another is a reminder for us to be very careful about what we are doing and um, there might be leads or something that might lead you down a dead end and then you waste a lot of time 
before finding out that it's a dead end. And so doing your preliminary research before you head into a situation is going to be very important for you, okay? I don't feel like anyone is out there setting a trap for you, but I do feel there is a situation where the trap is covered in hay, and so you don't know where you're walking. You literally might not know what you're walking into. And so you might, you know, spend a lot of time planning for something a certain way. And you're just like, okay, it's going to be this way. It's going to be this way and only this way. And as a fixed sign, we a lot of the times can get bogged down into that, right? And so I feel like they're saying it appears like this when it's in fact like this. And so we need to be able to be flexible enough to know when to shift gears, to know when to change your strategy, and to know what tools to use, okay? Like a bear trap is for bears. It's not for deers, it's not for rabbit, it's not for birds, for example, because the bear trap is very big and the bird can easily slip through. And so knowing the right tools for the right situation, knowing when to pull out the big guns, especially when you're dealing with somebody that is not cooperating with you or is not holding their end of the bargain, okay? So I feel like the energy for this month is about being, I, I guess, like being preemptive, being uh, prepared, being, being able to walk a few steps ahead of your opponent even, being able to anticipate what they're planning to do that way you can switch gears change strategies so that you can you know save yourself a lot of time further down the line okay um so i i just feel like you know you think something is one way and then um news and information and and then everything is coming to light and it's another way and so you end up like if you're so fixated on a specific outcome, you will end up wasting a lot of time if you don't switch gears fast enough, okay? So that's just um, the, the spiritual advice that I feel coming through. So let me just talk about the cards. Um, okay, so I feel like for some of you, you might have started a new job and uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, like last week. I feel like within the past six months, you, you started a new job. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, this is the Ace of Wands, not the Ace of Pentacles. This is the Ace of Wands. I was looking at the, the, the Ram and I was thinking like a, a Taurian type of a Ram. But this is the Ace of Acorns and the, the way the cards are depicted in the the words on it, I'm still using it. This is like my second time using it for this month, so I apologize. This is the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is new project. So the message is, I feel like for some of you, you might have started something new, like a, either a job, a new project. There's something new, and it, like I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, like last week. I feel like within the past six months, and what I'm feeling is, um, you guys pride yourself on being able to master things, being able to be really good at things, being able to, you know, understand something in and out, being able to be an expert or a master at your craft, okay? Um, I feel like there's a lot of worries and anxieties from your end. Eight of Swords, and this is indeed the Eight of Swords. A lot of anxiety about, you know, how am I doing? How am I performing? Am I being, um, am I, um, you know, like getting good reviews, am I doing the job well, how are my superiors looking at my performance, um, things like that. And so I feel like you're doing everything you possibly can to make sure not only that you get the work done, but that you're mastering the, the work, okay? So I feel like you're in a situation where the work is very challenging. The work is like very, very um, time sensitive. There's a lot of information, a lot of details you have to remember. There's also a lot of like um, disruptions. Um, once again, it's like, you know, you think your day is gonna go like this and then boom, surprise, there's something else in the works. There's like a wrench in the works. 
I'm also feeling as well. You like to, you know, start something in the morning and then wrap it up by night, nighttime, or by close of business. And I feel like there's something about this work where it drags on from one day to the next. There is no finality. There's no conclusion. It just exists and it drags on. And I feel that you have to keep track of everything. You have to remember what you did two months ago, three months ago. And I feel like somebody is almost like asking the impossible of you. Like, hey, remember that file you did like three months ago? What happened to it? And you're like, what file? There are thousands of files, hundreds of files that I've uh, worked on the past three months. Which one are you referring to? It's like they're, they're expecting you to have photographic memory of everything that you've done. And I feel like your inability to um, recall, you know, to have that photographic memory, to, to do the impossible. I feel like you understand that they're expecting the impossible of you, and yet you, you worry and you still beat yourself up over, oh, why, didn't, why couldn't I re recall what Jenny was talking about when she asked me about that files from three weeks ago or three months ago? I feel like you still have a lot of anxiety and you still beat yourself up over it and you still question whether or not this is the right path and you still question whether or not this is, you know, the right field, the right job, the right environment for you to be in. Um, I feel like one of the, the things that is kind of like the saving grace about this new endeavor is the people around you are very supportive, okay? Not so much the superiors, I suppose, but the people around you. The people that are co-workers, the people that you interact with on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. Um, we have here the three of, this is the three of wands. And we also have as well, the three of pentacles, okay? Building something of greater value, like all together, we are united to get things done. People around you are very cooperative. People around you are willing to share. So there's a wealth of knowledge buzzing around you. And I also feel like there's a lot of people willing to help. There's a lot of assistance coming through. There's a lot of like um, picking someone's brains, you know, someone who's like an expert, someone who's uh, really smart, very capable. They are around you and you are in a position where you can put their knowledge to good use. You don't have to reinvent the wheels. You can build on previous existing knowledge. It'll save you so much time. And that's what I mean by working smarter rather than working harder. But, you know, as a fixed sign, I understand. Um, you are a fixed sign and we pride ourselves on being able to be self-sufficient, okay? Doing it ourselves. And we learn best when we do something ourselves, when we see something through to completion, from the beginning, the middle to the end. W once we do something, we commit it to photographic memory and we know how to do it in the future. And, but I feel like there's something in your work environment where things just drag on. And it feels like you've never followed something through all the way to completion because the nature of the work is that it, it's endless, it drags on. And so you started at the beginning, you saw the middle, but you didn't know the end. You didn't know what happened. You didn't know like, you know, what was I supposed to do? And all these subsequent projects, cases, whatever is coming through for you that you had to work at was the same way. And because you never saw it through to completion, you're not sure, you're nervous, you're, you're doubting your capabilities. And it has nothing to do with your capabilities, Taurus. It has everything to do with the nature of the work, okay? Um, a lot of you have rushed into this very open-mindedly. Um, I feel almost like this might have been a very big career boost. This might have been like a, a job that, you know, entailed, it, it, it like on paper, the job or the project looks really good. On paper, it looks really good. It's prestigious. It's, uh, it's gonna put your skills to good use. 
It's the place where everybody wants to be. It's a hot topic. It's a hot topic of debate. It's a hot field. It's um. It's very dynamic. It's 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 like all the buzz. Everyone is talking about it. Okay. The latest craze is all the buzz. And then as soon as you got here, I just feel like everything was was what you thought it would be, except that you're also doubting your capabilities. Um. I see a little bit of anxiety. I see a little bit of like, um, I didn't know anything about this. I need to brush up on it. So I do see you spending a lot of time at your job after hours or even at home researching, doing work, doing extra work, unaccounted for, unpaid. And so I feel like, you know, you're in a position where you really want to mask this. You really want to prove to yourself that you can do this. You really want to prove to others too, because I feel like your superior's um, opinion, um, their assessment of you, their assessment of your performance really matters. So like, this is like, this is no joke. You're taking this very, very seriously. And I do see that you're nervous about how am I going to, you know, manage all of this? There's so much to learn in so little time. That's what I'm feeling. There's so much to learn in so little time. And I feel like you you might have jumped into this opportunity kind of like this. Wild and free. This is a wild boar, okay? This is like no holds bar. A lot of excitement. This is the Knight of Wands. And so he, he rushes in, and this is someone who has like a very strong sense of ethics, okay? Doing what's right, doing what's good, uh, helping humanity in some way. So there might be a humanitarian slant to this uh, project, this job that you're doing. And I feel like it's a um, stepping stone of a career, okay? Like you've waited a long time for this career or this job with a three of wands here. And when it came in, you excitedly rushed into this. And I'm sensing that you might not have the full picture of everything that it entails. And it's harder. It's harder than you think. So don't work harder, work smarter, stay ahead of it. Um, I'm hearing like current events, needing to know a lot of current events, needing to know what's happening in the world, needing to get out of our nest, out of our cocoon, out of our beehive. So there's something here about domesticity, okay? The, the bird's nest, the beehive, and also the, what do you call it? The, the rat's nest, the rat's lair. There's something here about getting out into the world, getting your feet wet, learning about the environment, learning about the culture, learning about the atmosphere. Uh, not just, you know, reading things through like an ivory tower approach, but really getting your hands dirty, really like, I'm seeing somebody knead dough, okay? Kneading dough is quite messy when you first start out. It's like getting every, getting in there and, and really, you know, ex experience that tactile um, environment. So it's not just reading about it from a news source or learning about something from an ivory tower where you're very detached and removed from it. It's like getting the nitty gritty details, getting yourself in, immersing, assimilating with this experience so that you can really understand. So I feel like there is a lot here about you wanting to kind of like be detached from it, have some physical distance from it. But the best way for you to learn is to plunge in, get dirty and see what you can do. Okay, I feel that you're being very hard on yourself and um, it's really annoying when people are just like, oh, you're too hard on yourself or you're working too hard, right? When you're just trying to do the work. And so I feel like everyone is, is aware that you're working really hard and everyone is telling you, you know, oh, take it easy. And I'm just sensing that you're sick of hearing it. And I'm just sensing that, you know, you know what works for you as well. 
and I feel like there's a steep learning curve and you're trying to master something and I would never you know tell someone to take it easy when there's a steep learning curve and they're trying to master it it just means you're responsible it just means that you know you're aware of your deficiencies and your shortcomings and you're trying to compensate by learning by doing more by staying uh, on top of things so the message about staying on top of things is is uh, very resonant so i feel like the theme of the month of february 2020 it's going to be needing to stay on top of things, needing to absorb information, a lot of information, so that you can stay ahead of the curve. And so I feel that, you know, good for you, Taurus, you're doing everything you can within your powers, within your capabilities to stay on top of a work situation that I feel is quite intellectually challenging. You have people around you that are willing to help, so, you know, don't be afraid. Like You don't have to do this on your own. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to, um, to, to, I don't want to say copy, but I feel like don't be afraid to replicate something that someone else has done in order to perfect your technique, okay? And I'm also feeling um, somebody's covering up their own tracks. Somebody's covering up their own tracks. So you might be dealing with people who might not be upfront and honest with their intentions or with their, um, I'm hearing story. They're, they're, whatever narrative that they're, they're, they're giving you, I feel like it's a, it's a biased narrative. I feel like it's um, potentially self-serving. And I also feel, feel like it's very subjective, okay? So you kind of have to sift through whatever they're saying to you and you have to be a little bit critical of what you're looking at. So, you know, whatever it is, it, it looks like a pile of hay, but it's not. Underneath it is that bear trap, right? So whatever they're giving you, the information they're giving you, you need to be a little bit skeptical, okay? So on another note, there might be a new relationship, okay? Now that I'm seeing that it's the Ace of Wands and not the Ace of Pentacles, I'm feeling like there might be a um, a relationship here, and we have here the Three of Wands and Three of um, Three of Cups. I just feel like I'm sorry, Three of Pentacles. I'm getting sleepy. I apologize. We have the Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. And so what I'm sensing is there might be like a, a third party involvement, okay? So I want you to be a little bit careful about this situation. I'm sensing that there is somebody here that has um, a very strong emotional connection with another person. Very strong emotional connection. And I'm sensing that somebody was like taking this uh, connection for granted okay so the two of cups is about you know uh, a, a, a couple where not only do you love this person but like you really like this person you like this person as a human being you like this person as a friend it's built on a very very solid and stable foundation and then I also feel like, you know, one person was um, either taking the relationship for granted. We have here the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who comes in and out of your life. This is somebody who's uh, quite attractive, culturally different from you. Okay, so I'm seeing like some type of a... Uh, like a, a mixed couple or like an interracial couple or people dating who might be speaking different languages or dealing with people who are very like just uh, culturally, ethnically, linguistically very different from you. And so it requires a little bit of work to calibrate, to, to kind of like set expectations and to be on the same page. So I feel like there's a lot of frustration here regarding this person. And then I also feel like somebody is... Um, is not valuing a connection. They might have played around, joked around, downplay its importance in their life. 
and when they're going through a period of famine in love and relationship they revert back to this relationship okay that's what i'm sensing i feel like there's three people involved in our relationship i feel like for some of you um you're inadvertently kind of like caught in the middle of a three some type of a situation that's what i'm sensing you might be the new person like it's like the new kid on the block the new person in the work environment a new person in the office a new person in the city a new person in this environment whatever the situation is and i feel like someone is trying to court you or someone is um trying to get your attention but they already might be in a relationship they might already you know have a significant other back home and i feel like you need to be a little bit careful because um they're not giving you the whole story so so at first glance and on paper this person might seem you know like they're single they're everything that you want them to be or or you've hoped for in a relationship partner i feel like they are mirroring you like they might know they they might you know ask around and uh, know about your preferences when it comes to food when it comes to going out when it comes to movies and so they might really try to grab your attention by saying oh i like that movie too or i like that food too or i like to go to you know such and such places too and i feel like that was you know their cheap way of segueing into a friendship with you or a connection with you but i i i do feel like there's pretenses so you want to be a little bit careful okay um i'm also seeing as well there is a relationship with another person um <clears throat> like a connection i don't feel like it's a full blown relationship yet um there's a connection with another person and this person is um this person is 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 very friendly and they're very nice this is what i'm seeing so this is once again ace of wands and i'm looking at this goat here and i'm trying to get a clear image here this is somebody who's like um they're very friendly very popular easy to get along with you know it, it's somebody who's like um everyone's like oh joe he's such a nice guy or mary she's such a nice girl it's somebody that a lot of people like a lot of people look up to a lot of people have affection for it's someone who's like what you see is what you get they don't have ulterior motives they're very sweet very caring they remember everybody's name and you know everyone likes them so i do see flirtation back and forth here and i feel like you want to build um make connect i feel like you might work together you you were seeing this person on a regular basis like too regularly so i feel like you might you know work together with this person you might have just met them in the work environment you might have um they might live really close to you like in the same apartment complex in the same building in the same block you're seeing a lot of this person and i'm also feeling like there is um you really like this person and the way that they are they're very popular very outgoing you're not really sure if they feel the same way about you so i'm going to pull out a few more cards because this is a really good person i feel like they have a good heart let's see how does this person feel about taurus I feel like they might be in a relationship. How does this person feel about Taurus? I feel like they're looking at you in a lustful way. But, you know, they they're they're like either gentlemanly about it or proper about it. We have here the justice card. So I feel like they might be in a relationship, but I also sense that they're feeling the same way about you. So there's temptation here. You might be inadvertently, you know, like the object of somebody's desire even though they're in our uh, another relationship. 
if you find yourself in this situation, I feel like you're not sure if they're married, you're not sure if they're engaged, you're not sure about their relationship status, and I feel like they're in a, you. You two are like probably interacting in a very innocent way, but they're hiding that fact. Okay, so I I feel like all is not what it seems. All is not what it seems for this month. Make sure you get more details. Make sure you get more information before you rush into something. And especially, I would say, steer away from dating coworkers, especially for this month. Because there's, there's more than meets the eye. There are a lot of things under the surface that you're not aware of. You don't want to be inadvertently stepping into a bear trap, right? So, I hope, you know, um, I'm going to try to publish this video early. So if you're contemplating mulling over a decision similar to this in the month of February, hopefully you know what to do and hopefully, you know, the, the cards will provide some guidance and hopefully you're watching this in time. Okay, so that, that's all that I hope for. Um, I just want you to be a little bit careful, uh, Taurus. Okay, so enough about that. Let me just clear this energy because this is like... Um, this is a different situation here. I do feel for many of you, you're in a new environment and I feel like you're very much single and a lot of people are looking at you and a lot of people, it, it's like you're drawing attention, positive attention, but the people that are coming in, you want to be a little bit discerning about what they're, they are saying. Are they really single? Okay. And if they're not single, you want to, you know, put a kibosh on that flirtation because I feel that it can, you know, it can escalate, it can get out of control, okay? So just be a little bit careful about that. Um, we have as well the tower. And I really like the depiction of this. So this is like an iguana, okay? Lizards are cold-blooded. Um, they need to sunbathe. They need to be in the sun to warm up their bodies, to warm up their blood. And this is exactly that, okay? It's like the home is destroyed. The, the dwelling is no longer there. We need to kind of like crawl out of our comfort zone and step into the sun. Okay, so I feel like I mentioned before, there is a situation here about domesticity. Domesticity and about you know leaving the bird's nest leaving the beehive leaving the rat's lair and coming out into the sunlight and the words associated with this here is about release and revelation okay truth coming to light and being in a environment where you know the, the sun is shining light on everything coming to a state of total awareness coming to realization of something for some of you, this could be this situation where you're with somebody and then you find out they're in another relationship, okay? Or you're flirting heavily with somebody and you're just like, oh, this might be the one. And then you find out that they've been hiding some information. And so I feel here there's a lot of questions that you need to ask for this month of the people around you. And I feel like you've been really busy doing uh, a lot of things. And so you haven't had the time to properly sit down. I feel like, you know, the, the work environment is taking a lot of your time. You haven't really had the time to really sit down and, and talk about things and, and re-examine things and, and, you know, ask questions of some, some significant people in your life. And this is the month where you're going to have to really sit down and ask these questions. And so that's what I'm sensing. Um, for some of you, this could be news information coming through in the love arena. Okay, particularly if you're like kind of uh, unknowingly wedged in a third party situation. I'm also sensing as well, um, there was a connection here 
that I feel you had with another person and that person didn't take it seriously. You know, they, they just didn't take it seriously. They thought you're always going to be there. They thought that you would always um, take them back. They thought that they could do no wrong. And I'm also feeling as if there's going to be contact and communication coming through from this person. And I feel like the contact and the communication that's coming through from this person, it's it's not anything long-term and stable, okay? We have this bison-looking animal. He's standing on very, very thin. It, it seems to me like somebody is skating on thin ice. Underneath it are those really sharp crystals, okay? So I feel like this is serving as a warning, once again, with that trap, okay? This is serving as a warning here where somebody is reaching out, they're trying to communicate, possibly getting you back, possibly wanting to talk to you, whatever it is, it's a, it's bait, it's bait. So think about past actions, think about, you know, all the times in the past that they might have disappointed you and left you high and dry and not follow through with their promises for commitment. And I feel like for many of you, it, it might have taken some time for you to get yourself to this point. Nine of Pentacles, very independent, okay? This is like the singles person. And what it is, is security and abundance, okay? Having your own nest, having your own space, being able to take care of yourself. Um, the spider spins his web every night and hopes that some unsuspecting prey falls into it, right? But either way, it's a self-sufficient spider. So what I'm feeling with this in conjunction to all of these warnings about, you know, traps and, and things like that, it's spinning a web of lies, you know, trying to distract you, trying to give you a story that makes sense, but the story is not real. And I feel like you might be interacting with the public in some way where somebody is spinning a web of lies, giving you a story so that it makes sense to you, but the story is not real. And so what I'm seeing is we need to exercise, you know, our power, our ability to discern fact from fiction to understand, you know, how thick is that ground I'm standing on? How much weight does this have to measure evidence, to measure out the weight, to really understand in the greater scheme of things, how much weight and how much credence do I give this information that's in front of me? Okay. And also, you know, unearthing, digging, digging for information, digging for answers, asking, probing those important questions to make sure that this person has a firm footing, to make sure their words have a firm basis on reality. And so there's a lot to unpack here when it comes to your reading. Um, you guys are not a naive sign. At all, at all, at all. And I, I feel like, you know, um, I feel like you might be dealing with someone who's a, quite a good liar. And they lie so well that their stories make sense. It's like some facts check out. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling as if there's half truths embedded in a lie. And the best lies are the ones that have, you know, elements of truths in them, right? And so separating fact from fiction is going to be a little bit difficult with this one. Okay. So, I want to pull out a few more cards for you. 
What is your advice here? For Taurus, please. Don't walk into a trap. I just heard that. One more. What is your advice here for Taurus, please? Or, but, oh, you got two more. Okay, so let me talk about this first because as soon as I started shuffling, it says don't walk into a trap. Okay. Um, if you are dealing and looking back at the past and you're dealing with someone who's been slippery and sly and they have a history of being slippery and sly and they're all of a sudden reaching out communicating and you know the way that they say things is like hey what's up just to get your attention right and so i'm hearing you know don't walk into a trap if you have a history with this person if time and time again they have shown themselves to be of a certain color okay this iguana this chameleon if they have time and time again shown their true colors to you Whatever this communication is, is a trap, is a ruse to, to kind of like um, smoke you out, right? It's a, it's a tactic that they've used to bait you, to lure you in. And so don't put yourself in a situation where you're walking into a trap. We have transition and liberation. Free yourself, okay? The cicada. So this is free yourself. Don't entertain it. Don't get yourself stuck in it. Um, around like um, the end of I believe the end of summer cicadas they um, they, they they leave their old shells behind okay so this image is very fitting when it uh, relates to transformation okay it's like casting off your old self casting off your old skin crawling out of your whatever it was that that was no longer you okay especially in your interaction with this person just free yourself from it and i pulled out two more cards and this energy feels like it's separate so it might be another message for you i have the three of cups and the high priestess you are in a third party relationship and i feel that you're getting uh, you're getting hunches okay so three of cups we have here three of pentacles three of wands three of cups this is a third party type of a situation the high priestess the high priestess is about intuition it's about our intuition kicking in overdrive whenever we're dealing with a specific person um their story might not check out 100 percent, but either way whenever you're dealing with them you smell something fishy so check yourself out of the situation okay taurus you want to be a little bit careful this month i don't like to deliver bad news um i hope none of this resonates with any of you guys who are watching this but for i i have to relay the information that comes through okay so taurus just very be very very careful about um you know what you're doing for this month and I don't feel that you're doing anything wrong, but I feel you need to ask a lot more questions of the people around you. Okay, you need to ask a lot more questions, all right? I will leave it at that. Um, I hope, I really, I don't want anyone to deal with this, to go through this, to be on the lookout. And I just feel like, you know, you want to step outside of your environment a little bit. To kind of like hear the buzz, hear the gossip, hear what's happening around you. Because I feel like the information is floating around. Every time, you know, I want to know something, I just ask that the universe delivers me the answer. And I would like step out of my office, step out of my neighborhood, go into the grocery store, and I would hear random messages of confirmation of something that I should know or I already know or I needed confirmation on. So if you're looking for answers, if you're looking for confirmation, just ask it of the universe and step outside of your apartment, step outside of the, um, the house and the messages will be delivered to you in the oddest forms through, you know, strangers, but nevertheless, you're going to get your answers, okay? 
I hope this reading finds you well. Um, either way, I wish you all the very best for February, okay? And take care of yourselves, please. And, you know, make sure you don't work too hard, okay? Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourselves.